Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the MSRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It has been approved for all persons ages 10 and over. This video is brought to you in part by The Night Sheriff by Phil Foglio. Bartholomew Xenon Xenon Land is protected by The Night Sheriff. Day and night, he's burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything. The guests, the staff, and the supernaturals who take refuge in the park. The Night Sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but the secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. And even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Hey kids, this is Jack again. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is, of course, the National Wildlife Park Project. And what I've got for you today is an insect house. Let me get closer to it. Excuse me, you know, the placement of my face. Uh, what I did was I built this big building and then I placed these uh, insect habitats, these insect exhibits, all the way around the perimeter. And, uh, you know, I've got, uh, what, six or seven insect species here and uh, a couple of info booths, and the info booths for the most part are selling audio tours and things like that. Um, but this building came out really well. I mean, look at it. This is, you know, let's get a, the, the above view. It, it worked out really well. I've already started landscaping the area around it to make it look prettier. Um, it's going to fit in really, you know, it's going to fit in perfectly with the rest of the zoo. Um, it doesn't have any of the spiders. I should, I should point that out. It's all the bugs. I mean, it's like both scorpion species and the leaf insects and the giant centipedes and the scarab beetle. There are other insects I could have included in here. I chose not to. I picked the ones that I thought were most interesting. Um, I don't have any plans on adding the remainder of the insects to the zoo. This is going to be the only insect zoo. Although I do have plans on doing a spider house with just the uh, various uh, spider species. I don't know, there's like four or five spider species that I know of. Um, and it'll, it'll be a different design than this. It's not going to be the same. But uh, I, I will say this was a longer bit of a build, if only because I stopped in the middle to go to lunch. Now, you're not going to notice... Uh, you're not going to notice the fact that I stopped the video in the middle, or you might because it lurches kind of a bit. But I got invited out by my folks, so I, I went out to lunch and uh, I was in the middle of building this. But that's all right. You know, you family comes first. I've always believed that. So anyway, let me turn this over to the uh, to the time lapse. You can see how all this got built. Um, I will say this: I did have to stop and start a couple of times. The speed build that you see is not the first attempt, it's actually the third. So, but it, in the end it worked out just fine. I like how it ended up. So I'm going to turn this over to the, to, to the time lapse and let you watch me build it. Talk to you in a minute.
And there you have it. Um, this was surprisingly more complicated than I thought it would be, although it wasn't difficult, it was just complicated. And uh, in the end, though, I think this is fantastic. It is reminiscent of a couple of buildings that I've seen in real zoos um, here in Florida. There is a, uh, a tradition of semi-outdoor uh, terrarium buildings. You know, where the terrarium is technically in the building, but the only thing in the building for real is the, um, the, the, the care and feeding areas. Anyway, I thought this worked out really great. Um, you know, we have, uh, let's see, we've got the giant centipede. We've got the, um, the giant burrowing cockroach. Over here on the other side of the info terminal, we have the forest scorpion. That's the giant forest scorpion. We have the sacred scarab beetle. We have the giant leaf insect. And over on this side, we have the giant desert scorpion. Those are, it's a nice um, array of species. It's interesting. I like how it came out. My primary focus here is to build a zoo that I would want to go to. Um, there's still some things I can do. I need to put covers on the donation buckets. Um, I need to do some more landscaping, maybe put some fencing down. But I'll do that off camera. Uh, but that's, you know, that's the building, and it came out very well. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this episode. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I don't hear from you guys often enough. I, mean, I know people are watching these videos, but for the most part, they don't, uh, they don't comment. That doesn't make me sad. This is not an escaped animal. problem I've been you know it's like no he didn't escape he's right here he's still in the zoo uh false reports this is a bug that's been going on for a while they still haven't figured out how to stop it anyway thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye